Hello, Interwebs. It's Friday, September 29th, 2017. Um, then do the Texas recap tomorrow. And you're going to do the Big 12 preview today. So, yeah. Two games left in the Big 12 slate for this week. Um, Baylor plays at Kansas State, and Oklahoma State plays at Texas Tech. <coughs> so, let's start off with the Baylor-Kansas State game. That is tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Central. And so Baylor 0-4, Kansas State is 2-1. That one lost to Vanderbilt. Uh, they did not look that good against Vanderbilt. Kansas State is more of a running team than a passing team. Uh, their quarterback is their top runner for this year, Jesse Ertz. He, uh, he has four touchdowns, two interceptions for throwing. 1187 yards. He has 44 carries rushing. So, you know, not that much for... Kansas State, other than the run game. Um, so they're going to have the run game. and Baylor's defense is not that good this year. Baylor's top receiver is out for the season after an injury. So is their starting defensive end. So that will be a struggle for them. Zach Smith doing much better than the new Solomon. Uh, the, uh, Baylor offense looked really good last week against Oklahoma, but I still think it's going to be a struggle to win in Kansas. So I think Kansas State's going to win this one 31-21. Just because Kansas State's got the better offense, Baylor's defense is not that good, and just, yeah. So, 0-5 for Baylor. Next up, the only other game I could talk about, so this is going to be a short video. It's a very short video. Texas Tech plays home against Oklahoma State. That will be a very interesting matchup. Uh, Texas Tech defense definitely improving after that game against Houston. They only allowed 24 points to Houston. And much better than last year. Uh, they still have the offensive firepower with Nick Shimanek. Shimanek? Shimanek. Shimanek. Let's say it that way. Um, 11 touchdowns to one interception for Shimanek. <coughs> uh, obviously, Oklahoma State has Hill, Washington, and Rudolph. So that that's gonna it's gonna be a very high scoring game, and uh, it's in Lubbock. I think it'll be a close game. Just because the offenses are going to be scoring a lot, the defenses aren't going to be as strong. I mean, last week you saw uh, TCU beat Oklahoma State in Oklahoma and because Oklahoma State's defense did not look that good. So it'll be very difficult for them to um, to win that game. Or it made it difficult for them to win the game last week, and they did not win a result of that game. So, yeah. It'll be a really close game, but I just see Oklahoma State winning it. It's going to be a very, very high-scoring game. I think Oklahoma State will win at 56-45. So uh, I feel like Tech can stick in there just because of their offensive firepower, but I just don't think that they're going to be able to stick in and win the game. So, yeah, I think Oklahoma State, they just have more offensive weapons. Their defense is a little better than Tech's. Going to be able to make a few more stops than Tech's defense can. So, yeah, but it, it'll be a very interesting game. Uh, to watch. If you like high scoring games, I would definitely suggest watching that game. So yeah, uh, K State Baylor. That that's going to be an interesting game. But I think K State will end up pulling away. And then the Oklahoma State Texas Tech game is going to be a close game. Texas did beat Iowa State on the road last night for their Big Twelve opener, and I will recap that game and talk about it tomorrow. Also, a sports news video this weekend and a race recap most likely, and a Big Twelve recap. So many videos this weekend. Yeah. So, 30 of you people who watch, go tell other people, as I say. So, adios.